Okay, guys, welcome to our uh, quickie review. Uh, this time we're uh, taking a look at the uh, ScaleTrains.com uh, Multimax Auto Rack car. Uh, this is the operator version that we have here. Um, I do also have a rivet counter version that I'll get and show you. But we're not going to be doing a comparison video because uh, mainly a lot of other guys have done it and they do, they would do a way better job than I would have done it. But anyway, we'll back out and we'll show you the rivet counter version right there. Um, so, there's the two versions. We'll bring it down here. And uh, one of the main differences between the two is that the rivet counter has a lot more detail than this operator version. But uh, that's about as far as I'm going to go into that because I'm not going to do a comparison video on it. Because, uh, like I said, guys like Sparky 107, 107 did one. Uh, I think there was uh, a couple other guys that did it. Uh, I think uh, Casey Stephen Rail fan did one. And uh, there was another guy uh, I'm subscribed to, but his name escapes me at the minute. But uh, <clears throat> but anyway, there, there there's a... Anyway, three guys I know of that uh, that have done comparison reviews on these cars. So, uh, between the uh, rivet counter and this operator version. But, anyway, um, let's go ahead and take a tour of this car here. We'll go in on Of course, we have uh, this car decorated for the Canadian National. Uh, so, once again, we're representing our friends north of the border in Canada in this review. Um, so... So uh, let's go ahead and start uh, by taking a tour of this car. Uh, really, for an operator car, a lesser detailed car, this is a really, really nicely detailed car. Um, it does have some uh, uh, details missing, which you can add by buying the uh, up uh, the detail kit. Uh, for instance, we'll come around here to the end doors, and you'll notice uh, there are no bars on these doors. However, the holes are there for you to install them. Uh, uh, some people say it gives the car an unfinished look but you know like I say uh, if you watched enough of my videos uh, I'm kind of a less is more guy uh, I like having the play value of these cars so uh, so really the lack of details really don't bother me that much um, so Anyway, we'll just we'll just kind of leave it at that. But uh, really nice lettering here. Uh, we have the uh, footboards here on the bottom, and of course uh, all of Scale Train's cars come with their in-house coupler. This is the operator version coupler, which is a plastic coupler. Uh, I will probably change those couplers out to KDs um, here in the near future. So uh, we'll. Uh, We'll probably put KDs on there. But anyway, let's take a tour of the side of the car. And come down here to the side. Again, really nice paneling. Nice roof. Nice uh, decaling here along the sides of the flat car here. Um, so, we'll, uh, we'll come around here to the back of the car. And because the car is so huge, I can't... Uh, I can't really pan the camera around and uh, see the back end. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this car off the track and show you the other end. And uh, again, nice de uh, decaling on the ends of the car here. All the lettering is readable. Of course, we have the footboards and once again the uh, scale trains coupler on that end. So uh, while we got, let's go ahead and flip her around. Oh, and uh, one other thing I'll mention. This is really nice too, this uh, brake piping right down here on the side of the car uh, that is really nice to see on a budget car um, these cars I think run run right around uh, 43 bucks so uh, the rivet counter is like 75 so um, so yeah for a budget car that's not bad so let's flip the car over and of course we have uh, some brake detailing underneath uh, of course, all the holes are there for the brake piping that uh, that you can add with the uh, upgrade kit. Uh, of course, the car lacks coupler cut levers and brake hoses, which, uh, like I said again, doesn't bother me because it gives you easy access to the couplers. 
So let's flip the car around. We'll show you the other side just to be good. Okay, got it on trick. So here we are. Here's the other side. And uh, kind of a really cool thing. Uh, these are not etched metal uh, uh, panels in here. Uh, these are plastic. Uh, the rivet counter does have etched metal uh, panels. But uh, still looks really, really nice on this car. This is basically the equivalent of, the, um, of a Walder's mainline car. Uh, maybe just a step up from them. Um, from the Walder's mainline. But uh, still a very, very nice car. And of course, it is classified. Where's the by words? Right there. Uh, you see the BI lettering right there, which classifies this as a bi-level. Uh, these cars can be either tri-level or bi-level cars. So, and their and their indication is, of course, uh, placed right there on the uh, side of the car there. But nonetheless, um, very nice car. We'll zoom in on the trucks. Uh, uh, we have the. 70 ton trucks with the 28 inch wheels very nice smooth rolling car well uh i ain't gonna get real crazy and push it because i don't want it to run in my train sitting over there but uh you can see it's it, yeah it's a very nice smooth rolling car you saw it just kind of roll back on its own so very free rolling um and of course uh one thing i forgot to show if you want to see how they come boxed up, I have a second version, a BNSF version. But uh, we'll show you what it looks like in the box. And there it is. They come really nicely packaged. <clears throat> uh, come in a clear uh, plastic clamshell when you take them out of the box. Uh, where you can inspect the car, which is always really, really nice. Something that a lot of manufacturers are doing now. But uh, uh, scale trains like Walther's and... Uh, really Atherton too. They do a nice job on their packaging on their stuff uh, <clears throat> They uh, they 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 really they really uh, do good on their packaging. So anyway uh, That being said uh, oh And uh, one other thing too uh, when you take the car out before I forget it You also get some uh, documentation on the car so there you go there but anyway uh, this is going to take care of the look at this uh this really nice multi max car uh you know it's not a overly detailed car like a lot of the other budget stuff but like i said uh, for the pr play value and everything you, you really can't go wrong i mean it's still a very good looking car it looks really good in a train so and um also there were some uh thoughts that the car is not good for uh taking less than 20 i think it says 24 26 inch curves <clears throat> excuse me but uh this layout has 22 inch curves and i ran and we're gonna run this car around the curves and i have not seen any binding uh in this car uh let's yeah yeah i'm not seeing hardly any binding in there uh this car is going around 22 inch curves so i, I think really if you have a uh layout with 22 inch curves i think this particular car will be just fine now the rivet counter uh may be a different story i don't know um so uh, that that may be something that may need to be explored a little bit further um but as far as this operator car, it has no trouble at all negotiating 22-inch curves. So, um, and basically all I've done is just take it out of the box. I haven't done any modifying to it. So, um, so I, I, I think the, I think if you have a layout of 22-inch curves, I think you guys will be in good shape. So, but anyway, this will take a look at this uh, Multi Max car. Um, as always, hope you enjoy these uh, product reviews. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the like button. It's always good for the YouTube algorithms. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And uh, 
we will catch you in the next review video. So take care, be safe, and happy mall railroading.